Hello. How are we, everyone? Excellent. Are we having a good 2016? I'll take that as a no. Now I understand because um, Mishy's been quite sad, obviously. A lot of death. A lot of death, a lot of celebrities dying, David Bowie and Prince. Um, obviously, it is sad when someone you know, who you like and you're attached to dies. But um, I think people on Facebook have sort of uh, gone the wrong way about doing this. And I'll give you an example of some mistakes that some, some person put. They put, um, huh, come on now, guys, this isn't a joke anymore. Behave 2016, who are we going to take next? First of all, right, 2016 does not decide at all, right? 2016 is not a contract killer. Okay? 2016 is not Liam Neeson. It doesn't have a particular set of skills. 2016 doesn't watch Game of Thrones and then decide to kill characters we're particularly attached to. You know, Game of Thrones can't kill David Guest and then say, oh sorry, he's making up the fact I got the wrong David in January, right? Another <laughs> <laughs> status they put is the one where it says like, oh, oh, someone put an absolutely awful on the other day. <laughs> Somewhere now in heaven, the world's biggest rock band's being formed. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, mom, uh, I do, I'm uh, on my way home now. I'll do a little, this little gig while I'm on the way home uh, now from, from the Wirral. Uh, the Wirral, obviously, the place in the 80s where people were angry at Margaret Thatcher, but they weren't quite sure why. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah, that poll tax is annoying, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I do go home a lot to, uh, to, to visit my mum, and I love my mum, she's great, but um, she takes the, sort of, the care and responsibility uh, too far. And I'll give you an example, right? Uh, she texts me once during an exam, right? And I, uh, I left the exam, checked the phone, and she had texted me during the exam. The text read, uh, Hi James, I uh, so, hope all is uh, going well. Just, just wanted to know, uh, how's the exam going? Yeah, how's the exam going? My mum did not want a pre or post-match analysis. Oh, no, 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 no. She wanted a live update there and then. She basically treated my GCSE exams as an episode of Gillette Soccer Saturday. As if we're supposed to go to, um, what's his name? Jeff Stelling going to Paul Merton saying, oh, how's, uh, how's James getting on with his GCSE maths exam? Paul, well, he's been struggling from the stop. Oh, he's been struggling with Pythagoras, but he's just worked out the square root of 64. Top one. <laughs> Too much time on my hands, that's what it is. That's what it is. I'm a very lonely person. Um, very lonely in the sense that uh, I find myself watching the Avengers films the other day. We've seen these films. They're not bad, uh, the Avengers films, but my problem is with them. I sort of can't really relate to any of the characters. So, for example, uh, Hulk, he's got the strength. You know, evidently, fitness isn't my forte. You know, ladies are yet to witness the fitness. Bang! Cash rates! Um, and then you've got Captain America, he's got the bravery. <laughs> Although I would like to admit, witness, uh, I do have a trophy at home that proves I survived the Alton Towers ride at 13. <laughs> so, uh, ladies. <laughs> Although I have to admit, my, my dad did buy me it. <laughs> oh, James, don't say that. Now these girls that want to go out for a drink with you. As if they ever would, James. As if they ever would. <laughs> So Captain America's got the bravery and you've got Iron Man, haven't you? Iron Man's cool, he's suave. I'm not cool, I'm not suave. To sort of clarify uh, how cool I am, uh, during the 2010 to 2011 Bromber Bulldogs Basketball Club End of Season Presentation Awards, the award I received was for most fun. <laughs> not even most fun player. You know, as if, as if the Brave Participant Award can get any more patronising. So I've loved me with that. So that's there, that's on the mantelpiece. Don't know what I value more now, to be honest. The sort of, uh, sort of trophy. But to this day, I don't know what I'm most fun at, or a trophy that proves I survived the roller coaster that was merely intimidating. But, um, it hit me watching these films. Uh, I, I could have a superpower, right? I, I could be more unique than any Avenger ever assembled. And that superpower is that I am incredibly repellent to women, right? So I'd like to go through a few names with you, first of all. We've got uh, Dick Denier, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Professor Prophylactic. Uh, and, and sex preventer, which I think is the, the outright winner there. Um, superpower as well, I'm sort of going through that at the moment, maybe just sort of chasing bad guys around, sort of a gigantic condom, sort of just trapping them in that, I don't know. Maybe Marvel will take it, maybe they won't. Could be good. We'll get an endorsement deal with Jorex, uh, although be a bit of false advertising now, because I'll be advertising something that I myself have never and probably will ever use. You know, sort of nature's contraception is taking care of itself, really. Um, so yeah, um, 
Well, no, it's, uh, I, I, have, um, I, uh, I have friends, believe it or not, but um, they're, sort of, they're not bad, but they're sort of like these, uh, these lad type friends, you know, really lads, 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 sort of like the Ladbrokes adverts, pretty much Ladbrokes adverts, basically that's what made them popular. Ladbrokes, of course, right, taking the first syllable of their business, lad, and basing their whole fucking marketing campaign on it. Literally, their adverts just consist of John, this is John, and when John knows, he knows. Cash out, cash in, accumulators. <laughs> the only thing I've accumulated from that advert is that John and his mates are pricks. That's what I've <laughs> I, do, I, was, I, was, I was out with them the other day, and uh, they, they play this game called, um, called like, uh, I like my women, so like, they'll say something like, oh, I like my women, or I like my uh, wine, you know, in a cellar. You know, something boring like that. <laughs> but I, I, I do think that honesty is the best policy, so I said to them, I said, guys, I said, I like my women, right? how I like my dentists. Um, I only encounter one every six months. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that was a fun point. It wasn't. Um, but um, I do believe that we're living in a modern age now, obviously, you know, social media sort of takes over everything. Are we all on Twitter? Yeah. Of course, Twitter hasn't reached witness yet, but it will do. <laughs> it will do. Uh, in about 20 years' time. Um, I, I am on Twitter, but I find it sort of very hard to sort of be funny on Twitter, sort of little one-liners uh, and, and witticisms. And I get annoyed a lot at Twitter as well um, for the use of the emoji. Now, for those of you who do not know what an emoji is, right, it's basically a sort of little shorthand expression that people use to sort of, um, you know, sort of sum up how they feel when they make a tweet. You probably think, oh, James, that's a nice idea, that, you know, sort of a smiley face or, or a sad face will suffice. No. Now, the people at the Emoji Corporation have taken it too far, right, because I do not need four stars, a shark, uh, a unicorn riding backwards on a leprechaun, a woman doing that, to emphasise how much of a good night that you're having. If anything, it sort of clarifies that you're a bit mentally unstable. Uh, the worst one, though, that, that um, people tend to do is this one, right? It's, it's a monkey doing this. A monkey doing that. You see, girls do it before they go on nights out all the time. So, oh, can't wait to go out tonight. What, a glass of wine emoji. That's fine. Woman doing that emoji. That's fine. But this... I have no idea what that is. If you put that before you go on a night out, I'm going to assume when I look at that tweet from face value, a monkey is literally going to accompany you around the clubs. That is literally how I see it. But if you took that one step further and, you know, tweeted that, you know, you'd lost a loved one and said, oh yeah, it was a great day for Martin. Um, lovely service. Um, it was a good send off, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, God. Uh, not only have you been really nice, but I actually really need a wee as well. So <laughs> I'm just going to go now. But you've been lovely. Thank you very much. Good night.